let's try this again. I did it the opposite. Uh, what are you doing right now? Say good afternoon. <laughs> Brennan. Brennan needs to wash the paint off of himself. So he's going to wash my car. You got so much suds now. I know you like it. So he's going to um, wash my car. Now, if anybody knows how kids like to wash the car you know they actually don't get the water onto the car they just sit in the bucket or at least my kids did my kids like to sit in the bucket it's funny but here's my my thing I did a little bit better because I used actual paint kilts paint for it too normally I spray paint it but I don't always have enough paint uh, spray paint to do it so mind you my husband bought these two years ago, bought a new set two years ago to put in and redo the the whole entire thing here, but it hasn't been done. So, no big deal. I don't care. I just have to make do what I got. I got kilt paint here from years ago when I did the whole entire basement, and I just do it here. Now I got nice white walls again. I hate mold i hate the the uh, they it looks like they threw freaking hair dye in there to make it look like shit too i can't stand it so meanwhile i just do it like this so i tried i'm trying to think about what i can do to make my kitchen different but pretty much i gotta get rid of all kinds of stuff out here that's all right. No big deal. No big deal. It's just got to get straightened up and move the paperwork around. But what am I supposed to do? So I got my bathroom, but I can't stand it. Oh, mail call, mail call. I might as well do mail call, mail call at the same time. Mail call, mail call. See? Mail. Mail call. Yeah. What happened to me putting my application in? Oh, that's right. They're redirecting my, my emails. And they're stopping me from clicking apply on my freaking job applications. Good job. I put all my stuff in. I spent $40 for the fucking exam. And the bitch is stealing it. Good job, jerk off. Good job. Mail call, mail call. What's for, what's, what did you say I have for mail? What did it say? The Willis family. College Ave. Yeah, whatever. Trash. They're trying to get my son to take loans so they can take it out on himself, on themselves. That's all right. My husband says, try to get rid of these cars. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get my ex-husband to come over and get this fucking car for me. But obviously, somebody's paying him not to do anything. Good job, jerk off. I'm glad you guys get off on hurting my ex-husband too. I'm glad that, I'm glad you guys get off on hurting him. You've been hurting him since Billy was five years old. You've been hurting us. You've been hurting him. I don't give a flying fuck. You guys will go down for every time my son doesn't. My husband didn't spend time with my son. The, all the assholes who decided to keep my husband, my ex-husband away from my son for all them years and hurt him. As my, my ex-husband says, I haven't really seen him for two years. Well, guess what? Even though he was here, I didn't either because them fucking pussies fucking fucked with it. So now, anytime my son doesn't spend time with my ex-husband now that he's older, I'm going to make sure you don't spend no time with your children either. I hope they steal your fucking kids for the rest of your goddamn life, you pussy assholes. Because you took my ex-husband's fatherhood away from him, and now your asses can go to hell. You can rot in fucking hell, bitch. All of you. Every last one of you. And I don't care who it is. I don't care. And they know what, exactly what I'm talking about. Because the bitches were only worried about partying up every weekend. Oh, we got a party. Got, we're having a party. I can't have Billy around. Yeah, good job. You had a party every fucking weekend. Your life is one big fucking joke, motherfucker. 
Oh, we got bills to pay. Yeah, I bet it is, but you have one big fucking joke. You're one big fucking joke. That's all you are. Living in fucking fantasy world. Thinking you're gonna get over on me and my fucking kids. Take that money. I spend $500 on vitamins every month. Good job, jerk off. Alright. So I'm gonna do a little bit more. A little bit more. Not too much more, though. Today. And then if I'll check it and see what kind of spots that I miss. Because when it dries, it like looks like it's got patchy spots. And I'll fix it. So, praise God. Hallelujah. Truth be told, justice be served, and may they rot in hell. Oh, why don't you sell some of these cars that are in this car driveway? Well, because the asshole who stole my son's identity wants those fucking cars. Now, your ass can go to hell. Until I put your stupid fucking lying pussy ass in... Oh my god, I can't believe I'm talking like this. I don't talk like this! Oh, that's right. This is the asshole from Minnesota kept talking like that in my ear for almost two years. Call me up and curse ha left and right, scumbag! Soon as I started talking to that stupid asshole, I was F this and F that. Good job, jerk off! I should have seen it coming. No, well, no big deal. It's done and over with. I just gotta curb it and keep praying about it because actually, because I, I got a stony heart that the Lord will make soft. Praise be to God. Hope is in front of me and my children. Peace be with us. Truth be told, I, uh, again, the only thing I got was this stupid college ass thing. So. I'm going to finish up. I'm going to do a little bit more here. And uh, sit down. I'm going to make spaghetti because my husband said he's going to put, he's going to make his bratwurst and stick it in some type of spaghetti or something. I have no idea. But that's what he's having and I'm going to make spaghetti. Praise be to God. Hope is in front of me and my children. Peace will come over us. Truth will be told one way or another. It's going to be told. So, oh, Brandon's on vacation all week. Yeah? Hmm. That's nice. Where at? Oh, as the bitch says, oh, well, me and my husband are the, at the, at the things that we're in Wildwood on vacation as a family. Wildwood on vacation as a family all week. Yeah? I hope your ass gets busted. Your family's in Wildwood on vacation? Yeah, he spends time with me on me. And they, the bitch made it known loud and clear. I wonder if I, you know what, maybe, I don't know if I, if I um, downloaded that footage or not. But the bitch made it loud and clear. She had to have the, her buddy on speaker so that I can hear it all to piss me off in the fucking cafeteria. So now that bitch can rot in fucking hell. Because she knows Wildwood was going to push my fucking buttons. So you can rot in hell, you little bitch. So what else did, what other fucking shit did you do to me that day? You guys planned that whole fucking day. I sat there for fucking two hours while you asshole, fucking prejudiced assholes fucked with me. Now, your ass can go to jail. I don't care if you are innocent. You ain't innocent no more. You're done. I don't care if you're ten years old. You're going to jail. You will go to jail if you got your little 10-year-old fucking kid. Your kid will go to jail. If you got your little 10-year-old kid committing crimes. Because I've seen it. I've seen them fucking assholes over there on 6th Street teaching a 12-year-old how to fucking sell drugs. Jerk off. What kind of adult are you? Career criminals, that's what they are taught. Just like Marco is. Marco and Nathan and all them. They're career criminals and they ain't going to stop. Praise be to God. Truth will be told. Justice be heard. Serve. Amen. <laughs>